Today's going to be a short video demonstration of the integration between Salesforce and PlanView PPM Pro. This can help your teams have visibility and traceability across disparate platforms where your different project teams might typically sit in different tools. Today's demo is going to show an example of having a ticket created in Salesforce and triggering a creation of a project within PlanView PPM Pro. Within PPM Pro, we can then start to break down different tasks and have those sent back into Salesforce as different tasks or case types. Starting today's demo, we're beginning in Salesforce, where we're going to create a ticket that will eventually trigger the creation of a project over in PPM Pro. To start, I'm going to give my ticket a name and fill in the description. And submitting. Now that that's been created, I can now come over into PPM Pro. I can simply reload my page and we will be able to see the specific ticket that we just created over in Salesforce populate over in PPM Pro as a project, which I can begin to open. As I come into PPM Pro, we'll be able to see a few specific details, such as the owner it's been assigned to, that matches up from the owner over in Salesforce. We see the titles are matching up. We see information such as the description as well. Likewise, as I come back over into Salesforce, I can reload my page and we'll see some specific information flow back as well, such as the ID of this specific project within PPM Pro, which we can see matches up here and here. And we also have an ID, which is going to be a backlink into this specific project within PPM Pro as well. So that any time users want to see the project this has been created, they'll simply be able to create a hyperlink to view that specific project directly from Salesforce as well. Now that this ticket has been escalated and we've been able to create a project within PPM Pro, we can start breaking down this project into different tasks and start actually assigning individual resources. To begin, we're going to start by creating some new tasks. I can begin by filling out some new fields. So in this case, I could say this is a ticket subtask. And I want to make sure that this specifically goes over into Salesforce, start filling out my priority. I can save it. And I can also begin by creating another task that I want to go in as a case within Salesforce. In this case, we can label it case task. I can change the type of task I want it to be, maybe set the script and a priority as well and add a description. This will create a new case within Salesforce and save. The first thing we can do is we can notice that this specific first task is going to come over as a ticket subtask within Salesforce. So as I see here on my specific ticket, I have different open activities and I can reload my page. And as I reload my page, we're going to see a few new things happen. First, we're going to see specifically my ticket subtask that was created over in PPM Pro has now been sent directly over into Salesforce. Likewise, I could start breaking down this work. I could see some of the information around it. In this case, I could change my title, start calling this an update to title, possibly add different comments as well and push save. As I go back into PPM Pro, I can simply reload my field and we're going to now see that this update came over and we see my ticket subtask update to title has flown over. So we've been able to see integration of items 
created in both PPM Pro or in Salesforce and updates flow bi-directionally as well. Likewise, what I can do is I can go directly back into my specific ticket within Salesforce. And as we scroll down, we'll also see the specific case task that I created over in PPM Pro now appear here within Salesforce. I could drill into my case task and I can start going into my details and we can, we can see specific information such as my alternate ID, which is the ID of my specific case here within PPM Pro as well. And as we drill down, we're gonna see different information such as the description that we filled out, the priority level, and so on. We also, just like we can see the alternate URL of PPM Pro here within Salesforce, as I go over into PPM Pro, we're also going to see the alternate ID that involves the Salesforce case and a backlink to the Salesforce ticket case as well. There are a variety of different items within Salesforce that you could choose to integrate these tasks with. In this case, it was just an example of showing different types of tasks or different types of cases. But as you can see, there's a variety of different objects that are in Salesforce that we could choose to integrate over into a PPM Pro project and tasks. Thank you for watching our demo, Integrating Salesforce and PlanView PPM Pro. For more information or to see a live demo, please go to www.tasktop.com forward slash demo request.